And covering education tonight, a bill authored by a student at Pellissippi State is on its way now to the Tennessee General Assembly. Uh, Annika Schultz is a Tennessee Promise Scholarship recipient, and at the end of last year, she worked with her professor, Dr. Jesse Cragwall, to draft a bill to amend the legislation that established and governs the scholarship. Now, she introduced it at the Tennessee Intercollegiate State Legislature, where it passed in both chambers and was signed by the TESOL governor. Now, with that said, Schultz's bill was then selected to be submitted to the 2022 General Assembly. The sophomore hopes to tweak some of the scholarship's requirements with her bill, and she wants to increase the age limit to allow students to apply if they miss the deadline in high school. Schultz also wants to allow students who fall below 12 credit hours during the semester to go on probation instead of losing the scholarship. Dr. Cragwall says the Tennessee Promise Scholarship is great for kids across the state and the proposed changes could lead to growth in retention rates in the years to come. And after a period of time, we're starting to see that this is an instance where, yes, it's, it's having a great impact, but the way some of these stipulations are written does disadvantage students to the point where it may not lead to retention, it may not lead to re-enrollment, or it may lead to a deterrence for future enrollment. And so it's so much more than just the bill going to the General Assembly. It's about just giving students another chance to go to school, to pursue education, to pursue a career, and do things that they otherwise wouldn't be able to do. Dr. Crackwell says two bills have been fi uh, filed uh, to address the issue, and they should come up for debate in the General Assembly in the spring. Schultz says Senator Becky Massey, who is sponsoring her bill in the Senate, asked her to testify the day the bill is brought to a committee. We'll keep you posted.